Let's roll the dice. What are the odds, as May starts to slip away into the heat of June, of a semblance of summer success for the as yet unopened, like casinos and racinos and amusement parks that rely on warm weather weeks to make their year? Well, it's the $64,000 question. Uh, Theme park expert Dennis Spiegel says industry-wide it's more like a $10 billion question. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine has yet to act on recommendations about reopening destinations like Kings Island. The hypercoaster Orion, shown here earlier this spring via Sky 5 drone video, has been ready for 12 weeks. Staff already knows there will be new procedures in place for distancing, tracing, limiting capacity, wanding, sanitizing. They are ready to roll. Cedar Fair, owner of Kings Island, has indicated that they're burning cash at a rate of about 25 million a month. The Cincinnati Zoo has taken a $6.7 million hit, waiting for what they've already prepared for. Uh, we have a really vast plan of how to limit our crowds. Cultural spots like the Art Museum tell us they're ready as well. This state rep believes the governor has been overly cautious. And now we're going to have to pick up the pieces of a shattered economy, uh, of, of bankrupt companies. The Sky 5 view shows a wait that will extend into June. In my opinion, if they don't get open by 4th of July or a little later than that, uh, I think they have to ask the question, does it make sense to really open this season? Can we make money? And we ran that scenario by Kings Island today. They referred us to their website, which says they're in constant communication with government leaders and look forward to welcoming patrons back as soon as it's safe to do so. The governor's office tells us DeWine will update everyone on this next week. Live downtown, John London, WLWT News 5.